Welcome to day <laughs> three. We are in Sitka. Well, we are coming up to Sitka. We're, the ship gets in at 11, so just in a couple hours we should be really close. The, the water is like so smooth. Mm -hmm such beautiful sight lines. I'll show you a couple just from our balcony and and this is probably like nothing yet you know what I mean like we're gonna get so much closer and have just like even more beautiful views so mm -hmm. I can't wait and just playing around with the camera it's been a lot of fun. We're gonna get uh, ready and go for a coffee uh, we're gonna show you real quick what we packed and what we're bringing with us uh, what we're wearing. what we're wearing exactly um, hopefully this will help uh, when you think about what to bring and what to pack we'll talk about we'll probably do a packing video after the trip's done say you know this was a waste of space we kind of overpacked or or this was really important to bring so we just uh, we'll go over it every day kind of and then we'll be able to put it together and uh, compile it so it makes sense for you guys but uh, I'm wearing a toque uh, a sweater with a t-shirt underneath then I have like a kind of a light vest on I'm wearing splash pants I actually am wearing long johns underneath um, and a pair of uh, boots this is what I'm bringing with me it looks like a pile of crap right now but I'll show you why and also what I'll bring is gonna be you know different from what you're gonna bring because I have a lot of electronics but I just wanted to show uh, a trick in case it rains. If you don't have a waterproof bag, what you can do is actually just stuff a garbage bag in your bag first, and then put everything in the garbage bag. That way it's all waterproof for you. But just to go over some of the things I'm bringing, I have a raincoat, an umbrella, and we got a tripod, binoculars, and I have like GoPro and my chargers and I have a, my drone and, and different lenses and that sort of thing in that bag but uh, we have like a kind of like a first aid kit it's got allergy band-aids the worst thing would be like getting a blister and you're like out on a hike or something so I'd recommend bringing some band-aids well don't you look cute as a button <laughs> thanks um, so what I war for today in Sitka. Um, I have a t-shirt on on my bottom layer. I have a sweater with like some kind of fleeces in it um, as my like shell with vest. A um, pair of aloe leggings. I got a pair of warm socks and some hiking boots I picked up uh, from Mountain Warehouse and that is kind of what I'm wearing. Out on the balcony I was a little chilly so I have I'll show you actually what's in my bag. Um, so I brought extra socks because I heard that sometimes when it rains you could need extra socks. Yep, I got extra socks too. I have some little gloves. Uh, I brought a pair of like running shoes if it's not too like treacherous or whatever We're walking around the town. I can just change it to something a little bit more comfortable. An umbrella because you know, Alaska. Uh, and then <laughs> I've got a raincoat just in case I need another layer or if it starts to downpour. And then I also have some splash pants. Uh, same thing. If the leggings aren't warm enough, I could toss those on. And then I also brought another like long sleeve layer in case I'm cold, so I can always put it on. Can't hurt to have too many things. I'd rather be too warm yeah. than too cold. No, it's good. <laughs> you got a good amount there. Not too much, yeah. not too little. And then I got my sea pass and my passport. Yeah. I guess it's up to you. You don't have to bring a passport, but we like to have it with us just in case. You never know, right? Mm -hmm. um, and my backpack. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, and it would also be a good idea to bring a water bottle, some sunglasses, just some of your basic stuff. We're just waiting for the ele elevator. I think we're going down to get coffee first, and then we're going to have some breakfast. Quick bite to eat before uh, we arrive. Yeah, we'll take you to the top of the ship, too. See uh, if we can show you some views. Yeah. And it's actually, we went back an additional hour last night yes. so we're now four hours behind which is rough <laughs> so, although I gotta say probably last night was the first night like throughout the whole trip I got a little bit more rest than I mm -hmm. thought so yeah I actually feeling pretty good feeling rested and then I looked at the phone and it was 4 30 a.m. <laughs> yeah, and the sun's like up it's like crazy how like the sunset and sun uh, rise time mm -hmm. uh, so it should get I think Later, later throughout the day, the more northern we go, but yeah. we'll see. Oh wow, Camp Bitty sent me yeah, that breakfast burritos, which is what I got. They have uh, egg sandwiches. Not really anything for you here, though. 
sadly no, but everything looks really good. Like I, if they had a gluten-free wrap or something, that would be yeah. great. But um, Ryan's gonna get a couple breakfast burritos, and then I think maybe I'll just see what they have either at the Solarium Bistro, because I know they had like fruits and stuff like that, or uh, maybe I'll just pop up to the Windjammer and grab some eggs. Yeah. I'm not a huge breakfast You probably person. get just eggs here if you wanted. Maybe an omelet? Um, I don't know. It looks like they're more like cereal, bagel, sandwich. Yeah, I don't see an omelet station here actually now that I look around. Mm -hmm. uh, That's okay, because I'm not a huge breakfast person anyway, so... Although, we are off the ship most of the day today, so I should probably eat something. Yeah. Okay, let's try out these uh, Cafe 270 breakfast burritos. They're very small. I might need a second breakfast. <laughs> give it a bite. Tasty. Semi cold. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. A little cold. So one thing that's like really handy that you can do is um, actually like reserve things on the Royal Caribbean app. And I'm really glad I did because Kayla guess what we're doing this morning. Well, spoiler alert, I also have the app, so I know we're doing both oh, cars. <laughs> yeah. Did you get the notification too? We have plans. We have plans. Bumper cars, mm -hmm. 9.15, which is an hour from now. Yep. It's kind of a weird time to do it, but it seemed to be like either 9 or 6 p.m. And we're usually like in and around dinner time, 6 p.m. So we're doing one of the morning ones. See how bumper cars is. Here. Could be. Could be a lot probably of fun. Be eating breakfast. They probably go pretty slow, but we'll try to make it look fun for you guys. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Just looking. Kayla? I feel like this is the purse all over again. I'm looking at Wonder and Icon. I just, you know, research. <laughs> research. Just doing some research. Just looking, you know, it's the, tw we have till 2024, 2025 to, you know, sell our house and a couple of organs to be able to afford it mm -hmm. but it has nothing to do with the uh bottle of champagne and uh i mean you do potential get a 250 dollars onboard credit that you could get i mean i do like the free bottle of champagne yeah that's how i got us to book our last one was i or i'm a little bit tipsy brought him the next cruise <laughs> and then kept him tipsy with the free bottle yeah it's true <laughs> it's genius is there a better breakfast view mm -mm. literally no, no show another picture here but I don't even know can they see behind me right now no um, Not really. just because the camera's got it, it's like white out it's insane but um yeah it's in the back area in the wind chamber there's this area mm -hmm. it's a, it's like a little chilly but we're properly dressed mm -hmm. and uh it's beautiful back here it's so nice it's nice and quiet too yeah what'd you have for breakfast today today I got some more scrambled eggs um I got the potatoes again, I gave them a second shot. Mostly because I saw the man dump a fresh batch in and I could see the steam and I was like, okay, they're hot. Perfect. <laughs> so they're warm today, they're good. And then I just got a little piece of fruit. Nothing too crazy, I'm not like terribly hungry, I'm still pretty full from Jamie's, but I know we're gonna be off the ship for a bit today, so I figured I should have something in my stomach so I don't get hangry. <laughs> they are setting up for bumper cars. Mm -hmm. What do you think the odds are that they let me bring my GoPro? Probably not very good. Probably not. I might be able to like, I don't know, attach it to the wall outside here. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they let me bring it. Cause like, normally they don't let you bring it cause you could drop it and hurt yeah. someone. But like, we're on the ground, so. I don't know. I feel like this is for the safety of others. And probably for the safety of your equipment, they're probably not gonna let you bring it on. Yeah, you're right. We'll see what we can get for you guys. Um, and then we'll do a review of it after to see if it's and any fun. Attach it right there to the stairs there. And it should yeah, be able could. to see there most might, of it. There's some That'd give you potential an idea. solutions here. Yeah. I was telling Ryan on our her way up, I was like, oh my god, I didn't realize that my body's so sore from the eye yeah. fly yesterday. Yeah. Like from making sure my arms were like right. Yeah, I think my spot. shoulders are sore. Yeah. And like from doing all the stairs, my my butt's a little sore. <laughs> so we're getting some exercise on this cruise, so. Here we go, bumper cars. Three, two, one, focus. Heavy
That was surprisingly fun and like the uh, collisions are harder than you think. Okay, the last one, I don't know like if you had it, but like someone came side and behind me and so my neck went like sideways and then like forward. I swear to God, yeah. I'm an old woman because like I think I threw out my neck. Kayla and I had a really big head-to-head -head collision and yeah, I have like a headache in the back I thought here. we broke the car for yeah. sure. And actually, that's surprisingly fun. Yeah, and the line's not too bad, but I talked to someone here and they're like, sometimes it wraps all the way around. We had to wait three rounds of bumper cars, and even though we booked on the app, it doesn't matter. It's just nobody checked. No one cares. It's just a note for yourself more than for the actually booking something. Mm -hmm. Get here so. early, be first in line. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Definitely okay, I need a give it a try. Now. Yeah. <laughs> this has to be the most beautiful sail away we've or not ever. Sail in. Sail in we've ever seen. It's gorgeous. Check some of these views out. It's incredible. Not much to see in the actual <laughs> port, but I heard that uh, at least for our excursion anyway, we have to take uh, one of the downtown shuttles. I don't know if it's free, we'll find out, but apparently all the shuttles go to like the same place and then that's where the excursions are, mm -hmm. or at least that's where they start. Yeah, so it looks like we're here, it looks like we're docked and just kind of waiting for our clearance to get yeah. off. Yeah, should be shortly, I think. Maybe earlier than uh, schedule. Everyone wants off. <laughs> and we're off. We're here. Sitka. We know those are shuttles to take. Yep. And it's pretty warm here, so I've actually already taken my vest, my toque, and... I'm like colder yeah. by nature. I don't know, I'm always cold, so I'm still in all the same layers. Yeah. I'm comfortable. Well, it is almost like... I think it's 11 o'clock now, so. Degrees, I think, right now? Yeah. So there's plenty of shuttles, but the, the line was looking pretty long. I don't know, like, if you're gonna have to wait. We got on the first shuttle out, luckily. That's the name of her. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's pretty sweet how they do provide it. It's free. Hmm. And it's gonna bring us downtown. You win. See you down there. Let's go. Marsha got some. Here down by the uh, Centennial Hall. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it was only about a 10 minute show ride, eh? Yeah. And he was really good. He gave us like some information about Sitka and it was uh, a nice little ride in. Yeah. And uh, told us about the volcano mm -hmm. and a couple of the other, uh, I don't know, I guess history. mountains and history and also that the we should see some good bald eagles today. Mm -hmm. So um, we're just, we're a little early. I think our excursion leaves in about an hour. Yeah. So I wonder if we have some time to explore. We're gonna try to like just touch base with them, let them know that we're here, and then maybe walk around a little. So that was, uh, they were right where they said they'd be. So mm -hmm. we checked in with them, we got a little ticket. Yep. And they said just come back in like an hour. So we're gonna explore a little, and uh, it's nice to have that kind of out of the way. We know where to go. Yeah. Careful, watch that bus. Uh, so let's uh, explore the town of Sitka, guys. Come on. Yeah, so when we were on the bus, the bus driver told us that they make it's really the good clutch at this place called New Archangel Trading. So we're going to go here, and apparently that's what Alaska was called before, or or maybe it was just Sitka, before the uh, the U.S. bought Alaska. It was the it town was, of Sitka, right? Uh, no, they New, changed it. New Archangel? Yeah. New Archangel? Yeah, that's what it, when the Russians owned it, that's what they called it. And then when the U.S. bought it, they renamed it Sitka. It's actually, I saw in the sign, it's pronounced... Hold on, I took a picture of the sign. It's actually pronounced... Uh, Shitka. So, oh. S-H-E-E-T-K-A. Shitka. Mm-hmm. I think everyone just says Sitka. Everyone says Sitka. It's just easier. I think, yeah. We're just... 
I know we're. This is a mistake. It's the first shop we've been into, and we're like already trying to get all these like stuff. little souvenirs. We thought our For in-laws our would like that. But my thought is, where are we putting this? Because we are so overpacked. Okay, welcome to the first episode ever of uh, Ryan's Food Travels. Stand up for this. <laughs> this is a peanut butter chocolate fudge. Yum. It wasn't expensive. It was like three bucks for yeah, the square. Yeah, actually the prices in the store were very reasonable. Holy frig. Is it good? You have to try this. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I very find it is gluten free. Oh, excellent. Thank you. How good is that? It is raining. It's so buttery. I know, right? It just like melts and hits your tongue. That's I'm glad pretty, we came here. Pretty fantastic. I would, I'm gonna try both different fudges, like just the chocolate one and then just peanut butter one. I have a feeling the peanut butter one is gonna be my favorite. I think I would just buy like a pound of like the top layer. Fun, that's so good. Mm. But together, oh my god. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give this back to you before I eat it all. So apparently, Sitka is like the salmon capital of the world, and if you're going to eat salmon anywhere, it's supposed to be here. So mm. I don't eat fish, but Ryan, you do. Should we try and find you a place to get some salmon? Maybe after the excursion. Fair. But they do have like all these like. They even have like little. Uh, Fish food trucks ship, and stuff, uh, yeah. yeah, food truck. It's crazy how like quiet of a town it is. I know like, this is just a seasonal town, but we're just walking around and you know that everyone here is it's like a, a cruiser. Yeah. And, and we're also in the beginning of the shoulder season, so not a lot of people come in May. Yeah, perhaps, right? So it's just kind of weird. It's like a little quiet town. I like it though. Yeah, very peaceful. Yeah. That's, that statue uh, back there, uh, it was pretty interesting. It was like the prospector, or like, you know, by the pioneer's house. And it was kind of interesting. He said that uh, he didn't actually, it wasn't the gold that was kind of luring him. It was actually just like finding the gold. He almost seemed like addicted to uh, to finding it, knowing that it was out there. Mm -hmm. the, the search of the gold haunts him, and that he really finds the most peace, not with the gold, but in the forest where it's like quiet and still. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of cool. We have to head back quickly now to uh, sure. catch our tour. Sure. So look into some stuff after. There's like uh, Alaskan Brewing, Brewing Company uh, bars and things like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely want to try that later. Uh, more shops, mm -hmm. lots to see. We're here at the Fortress of the Bears, and uh, you basically just look out the window, it's really cool. Can't wait to show you some of these bears that we can see. I'm going to switch lenses and just take some pictures and some videos and so you guys can see. So far I think this is fantastic. Our tour guide on the way here shared a lot of really good information about Sitka, and I can't wait to show you. So cool. You know what I like? Our, our tour guide got us here like before the huge Yeah, crowd. our tour guide got us here like the beginning and it's packed now, like thousands yeah. of people. Oh yeah. Um, they were so they were so cool. The bears are majestic. Oh yeah. So when we got here, um, everyone kind of dispersed and it was just kind of like me and him standing there. So he gave me like all this information. Okay, sorry. It was like really busy in there. So <laughs> yeah. we got here early, which was nice. There's like a thousand people up there now, which yeah. I think is kind of bothering the bears, to be honest. <laughs> they did look a, kind of like a bit aggravated. You know, we were only here for probably like 10 to 15 minutes, so mm -hmm. you don't. Quick. There's so many people, though. Like our tour guide's like, oh, I want to get to the next one before the next group of. Yeah, so we want to be in them. the lead. 
Um, but yeah, we, we all kind of dispersed and uh, he was telling me, so the bears during the night, they go in um, like a holding area um, and then during the day they get released out into this area where they can forage. They have to put them in those areas because the owners here scav uh, scatter food, so like cantaloupes, oh, fruits, that's nice. like stuff from like the local produce markets. I didn't hear markets. that. That's cool. And then they put like fish, some of, the, some of them are dead and they scatter them around and then they put other ones alive and they actually have to use their hunting skills to like forage for food. And so they hide oh, the good. food and during the day these bears just walk around the enclosure and like hunt so it's like they're in the wild but yeah i did see one of them just like munching on a yeah. cantaloupe so it was pretty cool yeah but yeah i cut some hopefully it turns out okay on the camera but i was able to like zoom in really close on them and it was really cool and you know and I, I don't know if i would ever seen a bear in person I've before so it was they were beautiful. It's quite something. Yeah, the ones that are in here are three cubs that were rescued. Their mom was killed um, on one of the roads up here. Yeah. And so if left unattended, those bears would have had, like, they would have died. So. Yeah, they said that the other male male bear would have ate the smaller cubs. So this, they took them in, started the sanctuary, and have added to the uh, total amount of bears. It looks like we're headed over to the raptor center now. So uh, we'll. Uh, See you there. Oh, sorry. You ready to see some eagles? I am, yeah. And they're rehabilitated. So. Yes, yeah, so I watched a couple of videos about this place. So basically, they find like injured um, bald eagles. They bring them back here. They have people that like rehab them, <laughs> teach them how to like fly again, and then they transport them back into the wild and release them. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm so glad we came out to the outdoor area because not only is it beautiful, but we can actually see uh, clearly bald eagle. Like, right bald in front eagle. Of us. He's like. Sitting three or four meters in front of us. It's yeah. crazy. He just keeps staring at us like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turning his head. Can you see him? He's right there. All right, Kayla, let's see. How big is your wingspan? Let's find out. Let's put my foot in. Okay. Do I right here? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you're, you're longer on one side than you're on the other. Maybe you're not perfectly Wait, centered, not. but you're about five. Maybe one of my arms is longer than the other. <laughs> That's normal, right? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. That's pretty good. You're pretty equal. You got good wingspan? Alright, yeah, you okay, go. Okay, Ryan, back. let's see your wingspan. <laughs> Where am I at? Let's see. Six and. Yeah, about. Yeah, you're pretty. I'd say you're bang on. Yeah? Yeah. The lady is Narwhal. Uh, she is a great horned owl who came to us from Fairbanks, Alaska oh, sorry. Sorry. after being struck by a car. Oh. So Narwhal uh, had a broken humerus, which didn't quite heal Here right, and some road rash down half of her face, which is why we called her Narwhal, because she was the one horned great horned owl until the skin healed and the feathers grew back. Oh. Now since her wing didn't quite heal, heal well enough to be released, uh, she has been living with us for about eight years at this point. The tip of her wing just fell off, as well as her um, primary flight feathers. So she is not flighted anymore, but she is a glove trained bird, which means she's very spoiled and likes food a lot. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. This is like the coolest tour. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I don't know exactly. Are we, it's totems here, right? Yes, this is the totems. Um, but we're also going to a bridge because right now there's like a bunch of people inside watching a video about totems. So we want to skip the crowd. So we're skipping ahead and going to this forest bridge area. And then by the time we're done and head back, those people will be leaving to come here and then we'll have the other place to ourselves. So we're in the Tongass National Park. It's a temperate rainforest and this has like been the best tour so far. The Raptor Center, now we're in the National Park. The, it's so beautiful in here, just like the vegetation and the greenery. Like I don't and think I've seen this color of green in my whole life. I know, right? And it's just such a nice day here. Yeah. We keep getting lucky with the rain because every time we leave something, it rains when we're in the car, and then when we get out of the car, it's yeah. the clouds part and it's sunny. It's a little so. sprinkling on us now, but it's not yeah. too bad. Not too bad.
All the little berries you see here underneath there are starting to form. They grow underneath these leaves because they need moisture to grow, but if they get wet, then they will rot, either blossom or in um, the fruit stage. So nature has provided an umbrella roof over top of them, totem poles all along the whole path saying what they are, why they're there, different legends of the natives here. So that's where the big battle is right there in the end. The Russians bombarded their whole encampment with uh, cannon. Wow, it's really gotten busy here, right? Yeah, it really has. So we got here first, uh, and then there was a period, I guess, where they were closing our ship's gangway to let the other ship that's in here today port in. So you can definitely tell there's more than one cruise ship here now. <laughs> Guys, we're just walking over to uh, find a restaurant and maybe get a beer, but we're going to talk about the tour. Yes. Um, we are kind of rushed. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of rapid fire today, but we're, ha we're going to be happy to talk to you guys about it. Uh, just We're just looking to get s situated first. Yeah. Okay, we are at the Westmark, which is really close to the um, Arrington Center, which is where we got dropped off. So we're in like the core downtown area. It's only like a three block town, so can't miss it. But uh, we wanted to talk about our excursion. excursion. <laughs> it went by so fast. <laughs> yeah, so it was really uh, rapid fire, but what we'll do is maybe go over each one. So the first one we did was the Fortress of the Bears. That was really cool. However, it got like super busy, super quick. We were probably only there for 10 to 15 minutes. And it got hard to take pictures like there was just like so many people lined up at the rail. You were kind of just like beeping and wobbing and trying to get pictures of the bears and stuff. But uh, for the time, for the first five minutes when we were the first group there, it was pretty amazing. Like I said, we had never seen a bear, so I thought it was pretty cool. And then uh, next, uh, we went to the Raptor Center. Kayla, what did you think about the Raptor Center? The Raptor Center was probably, I don't know if it was my favorite. I think both the bears and the... Raptor Center were my favorite, like a tie for favorite. Yeah, I think but I like the Tongass National Park yeah. and the Raptors the most. You did? I like the, the Bears National were Park. cool, but cool. we were just there so, so short. quickly. Yeah. yeah. The um, Raptor Center was amazing because they rehab these birds that are injured mostly because of humans. Um, and so they pay. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Um, so they pay to rehabilitate them. Um, they pay for all their surgeries and everything, and then they release them back into the forest. Thank Thanks. you so much. Um, and so that's incredible. Like, just one sec. <laughs> that's just for me, guys. <laughs> yeah, I was actually able to get a cider, uh, like an Alaskan named cider, which is cool. Um, so I'm excited to try it. Um, but no, Raptor Center was awesome. Seeing a bald eagle was so cool. And like knowing that the, most of them are going to get rehabbed and re-released back into nature is nice. I really like that. There are a few of them, sadly, that are so injured that they won't be able to survive yeah, on their own. Yeah, some of them, they said they were there for like eight years or something. Yeah, some of them are lifers there, but I mean, they have a really good life. They're fed really well. Yeah. It could be worse. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. Like, I would go back. Yeah, and then yeah, the National Park, that was pretty cool. I don't know if like how the footage turned out, but um, we kind of just took like a walk down a trail down to a bridge. Um, very cool, a lot of greenery, very peaceful, fresh air. It was really, uh, it was leaving a nice little, we'll call it a beach, but it was like the tide was out. So um, it was kind of like a beach area, very pretty. And uh, overall, our tour guide was really good. He was really informative, like cracking jokes and giving like knowledge at the same time. It was like he had been here, he lives here for 57 years, and then in the winter he goes away like uh, and does uh, tours in like the Grand Canyon or whatever he said. But he was really knowledgeable, definitely knew his stuff. And the tour was called the Premium Sitka Tour. It was Fortress of the Bears, Raptor Center. And I think they just called it Totems, but it was like the Tongass National Park. Link it, link it. Yeah, yeah, we'll put a link in the description. The line goes from all the way there, all the way around the building, and then you catch the bus over there. I don't know how long this is going to take, but... A month? <laughs> a month. Yeah. I'm looking if they have Alaska Uber. Like, yeah, yeah, they have cabs. That's insane. 
and we're all the way at the back of the line. I don't even know where we are. We're like a mile from the bus. We are so lucky that it's not raining right now because, well, knock on wood. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> because the lineup probably about an hour. I would say at least, yeah. And we're back on. Thank God. Took an hour. That did take an hour. So. Although, like we said, it could have yeah. been way worse. It could have been raining or. Freezing oh yeah, it was a beautiful day today. We got really. I think lucky. too, like the ship's obviously not going to leave if there's this huge line, but. But it was about an hour from. An hour wait. <laughs> Happy to be on the bus. Yeah. So now we're gonna head back to the ship and get something to eat. Oh, I'm starving. We haven't eaten all day. Mm -hmm. And we did a lot of steps today. I think we're doing Sorrentos tonight. I could totally go for a pizza. Just like that, we're back. Back in port. Headed to the Ovation. Our home for the next. What? Six more days, I think. Six more days. The uh, Norwegian Sky was here yeah, with sun. us. Sun. Norwegian Sun was here with us today. So the island was like very busy. Extra busy. But happy to be back aboard the Ovation of the Seas. Toronto's time, baby. I hope they have gluten free. Okay, guys, we got some much needed Sorrentos here. Probably the best pizza at sea yeah? so far that we've had. I like how it's like a thin crust. It's good. And then uh, we'll see how Kayla's gluten free pizza is. I remember it being pretty good though. Like, you've ate it with me before. Yeah, like you couldn't even tell the difference. Okay, Kayla, that was pretty quick. It was pretty quick, yeah. Gluten free pizza. Let us know. It doesn't look amazing. It's really hot. Like, it's pressure. I'm not gonna be able to eat this for Okay, minutes. we don't want Minky burn your mouth again. Oh my god, not again. I like, lost all my taste buds. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, you don't understand. <laughs> it was rough. Okay. Okay. Try this and pray for me that it's not too hot. It's steaming. It is steaming. Cheese looks good. Very busy here right now, so sorry about the noise. It's very busy. The cheese is very good. The crust is good. It's crispy, like on the outside. Like this part is very crispy and good. The only problem is like the middle part is um, a little softer, then? but it's not bad. Pretty good for gluten free though. Okay. In Anytime 10 minutes. Anytime they have gluten free, yeah. I'm happy. So. Okay, we're ready. Diamond Lounge, here we come. <laughs> Chicken wings, coffee, and drinks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What'd you get? I got my classic order. <laughs> Grey Goose, uh, Grey Goose Martini Dirty. Nice. What did you get? I got, I heard just a lady talking and I was like, ooh, I want one of those. It's a chocolate martini and I don't know if it's in a good. It's probably like a mudslide in a martini glass. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. It's chocolatey. It's good. So we're in the Windjammer for a little second dinner. <laughs> and just enjoying the sail away. We've got a time lapse going with the phone. Hopefully that turns out okay. Food is really good in the Windjammer tonight. I just had to, I mean, it doesn't look like anything special right mm -hmm. now, but uh, chicken parm, meatballs. Very good. How's yours? Favorites. Mine's good. I just got like a little mixed salad. I got some roasted carrots, which I already ate all of them. Uh, a little bit of mashed potatoes and a couple french fries. And uh, yeah, it's good. We got some technical difficulties. You were having the second cruise in a row now. It happens. Yeah, it does. It doesn't really bother us at all. Technology I think the power went out or a breaker went off or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. It was it started and then it kind of just cut out. So so far it's a really good show. If you yeah. haven't noticed, I'm not allowed to videotape any bit. I might have been a little rule breaker though. I've got a couple clips for you guys. We'll see if they turn out at all, because it's from my phone, so. No, it's a good show. We're gonna wait it out and let them finish it out. What did you think of Live Love Nights? Yeah, I thought it was a really good show. Uh, one thing I would say, like, 
that Royal seems to be doing is increasing their like special effects. They like Spectres last night. They brought in a lot of special effects, and then tonight they had like this screen come down, and then it was like kind of interacting with the movement of the dancers. It was really cool. Uh, I really like how they're bringing in like all this like cool technology stuff. So pretty good show. Now your team will only get one chance to answer. If it's incorrect, we're gonna send you back. Now here comes the question one more time. Tell me the song and the artist. Talk to me. What's the name of the song? Walk like an Egyptian. And who sings it? Bangles. The Bangles. Walk like an Egyptian. The Bangles. First point to points. Oh, you get that instant chill. Instant chill. <laughs> like. It is 9:30 right now, guys. It's like it looks like seven o'clock, maybe. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. Wow. The water is stunning. Mm -hmm. So calm. It's funny because it's calm, but when we were in uh, the theater, every, like I was like falling over. I don't know why. But yeah, wow, gorgeous. Ooh, okay, it's cold. <laughs> going back in. Time to go back in. Ooh. Yeah. Guys, rock the room was like a uh, music, a fun little music a trivia. Music trivia, yeah. yeah. I actually did well for myself. I yeah. wasn't like. Kayla playing. knew all the answers. She's pretty good at all it. the answers. There was like a couple I didn't, and I was a little disappointed in myself, but um, it was fun. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's like a must-do, but it's definitely like a fun little thing. If you like music thing. and you know your music trivia, it would be entertaining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I would say like the crowd has been kind of Quiet. tame. But that's to be expected, I guess. It's yeah. an Alaska cruise, so. I feel bad for the entertainment stuff because they kind of like yeah. really have to get people like, yeah, it's true. riled up yeah. and involved. Um, but no, it's, uh, they, they come around. Like by the second yeah. or third question, people start to get really invested and then like, for sure. It gets it gets better. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we're, we're just going to have a cocktail somewhere and... Um, we are trying to stay awake for you guys. Potentially take a look at the Hush party. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I'm not much of a dancer, as to be expected. <laughs> unless Kayla... he has a couple gin and tonics. <laughs> or, yeah, unless know. I'm feeling good. But like I said, we can't do that tonight. No. So we, we will not be, be going too crazy. But I will go, I will stay up for one more hour, and then I will do at least one dance for you guys with Silent Disco so you can see what it's yeah. all about. It's actually a Yeah, it's hoot. pretty fun. If you haven't it's done it, It's in Cafe 270, it. so it should be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we're heading there to get a cocktail and then we'll kind of... Yeah, we haven't had a drink there yet. See so. how it goes. surprise we didn't even know that like show I, was happening I knew it was happening and it was oh, like I didn't know what, what's it called it was, uh, the... I think it was called like the event at 270 or something oh, and they okay. were explaining how all the technology works in 270 um, I was like interested in it but also there's so many other things happening yeah but I'm glad we caught it because it's amazing it's really cool I took the footage on my phone so we'll see how it turned out but it turned out good like I can't even imagine being a dancer trying to remember choreography while you're locked in a tank of water, can't breathe, surrounded by a random like fish. A, yeah. If, if it turns out properly, the last videos you saw, the dancer actually went in Not a injured. locked underwater box. She ended up getting injured and went back the next day and finished her job. It's pretty cool. It's professional, I'll tell you that, that's for sure. But yeah, just the amount of money they sunk into like 270 you have to at least come and see one yeah. show here they said it was 7.2 million just on just the screens in screens alone like so the, the whole engineering 30 million or something in it all yeah it's crazy we are at the bar at cafe 270 <laughs> these chairs get are our heavy. last diamond voucher of the day yeah the hush silent party it's is coming up, coming up so kayla are you ready for this i was born ready <laughs> Kayla's already made friends. I always make friends. I think I'll just, you know, capture some footage for you guys. Get a little, couple shots of Kayla. Busting a move. Oh, oh. 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 music just started.
Well, that hush party, even though I was like pretty tired going into it. I'm sweating. It was uh, quite a bit of fun. Kayla could have stayed there all night. Could have I had to pull her out of there because I was like, listen, we got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> you had to come get me. I got in trouble for... Canoeing for five miles, we're hiking for a couple miles. Yes, I got in trouble for bringing my drink on the dance floor. Apparently yep. that's a no-no. Yep. If you have seen our enchantment vlogs, you'll know it's probably because oh, of me. Man. We were because I spilled like martini, crazy. had a martini in my hand. I was just spilling it all over the floor. So it's probably yep. because of me. So tomorrow we are in Ooh. Juneau. And we are doing the Mendenhall Glacier yes. canoe it's like and hike. Canoe and hike. And we're really hopefully excited for this because hopefully nice we get cave. to do ice caves. So you're gonna to want to make sure you like and subscribe because you don't want to miss this next yeah. one. It should one be amazing. It's a bucket list trip. Hopefully we get really good weather and it's not canceled or anything. They called us today and confirmed it. So. <laughs> We're really a small excited. Fortune, so. it, this is our big one. This is our this is, big this is the big excursion in terms of cost. Uh, this this is the one we chose to do. So really looking forward to it. Thanks so much. We hope for you watching. enjoyed today. Like I hope yeah. you guys loved Sitka as much as we did.